right guys so now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about state and what the hell is state okay think about state as a memory card you know when you play a game and you have to save like let's say you're playing an RPG game and you just finished the level but you need to save your data somewhere this is state state is like your memory card right so think about it like that right now I'm gonna show you this on Zillow.com so Zillow.com is a single page app now they work with react there this whole page is made with react right and they're using the the Bing API in combination with Zillow and they created their own you know little website <laughs> all right so now let's look at this let's say you're a new user you came in automatically you have everything clicked on it basically is showing you everything that you want right now let's say an example automatically it shows you that there's no limit to your your type of housing that you're looking for right the type of apartment or house that you're looking for but let's say you're looking for a place from uh, let's say two hundred and ten thousand to six hundred thousand all right do that automatically what it did was sorry I clicked outside uh, automatically what it did it filtered all the data that was on the page and it goes like only show me the ones that match from 210k to six hundred thousand dollars right so think of it like this somewhere on the website inside they have a state and that state probably says something like this like uh, men men house or let's say something like this men price and then it comes in and says two hundred and ten thousand and then max price six hundred thousand all right now sorry for the comma you're not supposed to put commas because it's just a regular number all right now you save that okay that got saved that gets shown on the state now another thing that we could come here and do and say hey we want to take off potential listings all right so automatically somewhere in the state again it saves your your information saves what you chose and says okay let's say for sale and it says true and then potential listing it says false I hope you guys get what I'm doing right now I'm basically showing you guys how their state probably looks right now and then here you will say three bedrooms all right so bedrooms will come in here and be like okay three bedrooms so now as you can see every time that we choose something else the page re-renders not the whole page but in reality just this area here just a component and any other component on the website like let's say here if we open this up like this side here also re-renders because of the data so if we come here and we say five rooms it shows no match nothing matches and it takes off all the little dots off the map automatically if we come here and we say four bedrooms there's a few of them with four bedrooms if we have one bedroom you see more start showing up and and basically saying like hey there's houses available for one bedroom right now all of this stuff is done and being tracked by the state right and the way how hyper app works is the only way to change the state is through actions right so I'm gonna show you guys an example of this so let me see where is it I want to show you guys something pretty simple so you guys could get an idea okay try it online okay cool the initial state the original state of this app right here this component here 
is count zero. So the count is zero automatically, right? So you have that there. So that's what we're seeing, right? And then here we're basically printing out the state that count. But when we click on a plus, it adds um, basically one number more to it. So it says, okay, zero plus one. You see here actions. It says up. You click on up. It goes. It brings down the state, and then we have access to the original state that's here. And then it basically comes and says, okay, state that count plus one is the new count. All right. So the new count is no longer zero, it's going to be one. So when we come here, we just keep adding it through actions. Automatically, it gets changed on the state. Right. Now it's the same thing as we come here and press down. So all of this is done by actions. So the only way to change the state is doing it through actions. All right. So that's what I want you guys to to get to understand and see how state works. OK, so it's the same thing as here. Think about it like that. When you come to a website and there's things that you have here, like right now, if I click on heart, it's going to say, hey, you're supposed to log in. You keep track of that through state. You find out what's going on throughout the whole application and you keep track of it through the state. All right. I hope this makes sense for you guys. I'm, I'm keeping it super simple, super easy, something that you guys can understand it. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye. This is your boy Joe back at it again. I didn't did it again, man. I came up with this new course, Hyper App JS course. Guys, if you want the full course and you don't want to wait for the videos on YouTube, make sure you go to the website. You know, codingface.com is going to bring you here to the store. There's going to be a whole bunch of courses. Of course, you could just sign up for the get all access pass. And yeah, whenever you use the description below and you use the link through there, guys, you're going to get 50% off. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bow.